Dio over heaven. He's kind of this supreme figure in Jojo scaling. A stand that can beat the overpowered Golden Experience Requiem. I mean, it's basically been unanimous that the world of heaven is some unkillable beast and this idea has spread through the entire community. However, anyone who spent a decent amount of time in the Jojo community can tell you that they're not the smartest people on the planet. They can barely pay attention to the manga they love so much, let alone a video game story. And I feel like a lot of misinterpretation has been taken on kind of how powerful Dio's character really is, which leads to the point of this video. This video is here to create an accurate scale, Dio over heaven, and show that he's not really this solo god that everyone thinks he is. And what better way to do that than put him up against a character everyone knows, and everyone at least kind of respects, Goku. So let's jump into it. I feel like we should start with the whole idea that Dio can simply overwrite himself to nigh omnipotence. But what people don't get is that this is completely out of character for the Dio over heaven we see. I mean, if he really wanted to, he could have done that at any point during the Eyes of Heaven story, but he didn't, meaning that there's no real evidence that it's in his character to just make himself an actual god. Unless you believe that that is how he beat Golden Experience Requiem, which I'll try explaining as quick as I can, because that gets quite contrived. So basically, in the game, we have this moment where the world of a heaven and GR clash fists, and it's outright said that the world outranks GR. This creates kind of three schools of thought when interpreting this scene. Either one, the world has some resistance to reality warping, which is probably linked to its own reality warping ability. Two, the world is on a higher dimensional plane of Golden Experience Requiem, which is why it can't affect it. Or three, Dion purposely wrote that he was invulnerable to GR's effects into himself. Now the first two, surprisingly, don't actually change much for this fight, as Goku won't be interacting with the world for the fight directly, and doesn't really have reality warping abilities, so his resistance wouldn't make any difference. The third one is what we want to focus on, however, because it takes away one of the conditions Goku wins by. If we follow one and two, Dio would only really win in this out-of-character, bloodlusted state with prep time. Whereas in condition three, if Dio had prep time, he would most likely make himself powerful enough to beat Goku. I just wanted to get out of the way at the start to basically quash that entire argument as if it's some smoking gun, as it's kind of, I don't know, it, it doesn't really work. Anyway, so let's talk about the one thing everyone ignores about Dio over Heaven, and that being Dio itself. This is because everyone kind of focuses on the world and its power and forgets really how vulnerable Dio is. We see this when he takes hits from just a regular Star Platinum without any awakened abilities. This is a Star Platinum that scales to Silver Chariot, who as we see is around light speed from the Hanged Man fight in which it intercepts Hanged Man, a stand made of light, so it's obviously relative to light speed. Araki also said Star Platinum throws fists at the speed of light, which supports what I just said. The fact that neither Dio or the world could react to his punches means that they definitely wouldn't be able to react to a Dragon Ball Super Goku. Considering that Saiyan Saga Piccolo was firing attacks at around 13% the speed of light, assuming he's the same power in the Nappa fight, which is a highball by the way because he had 6 months of training I think after that, his power level in the Dizentio is said to be 3500, with Goku after King Kai's training being 8000. Not even accounting for further training, Zenkai boosts, and everything after that. If we just add the Super Saiyan multiplier onto a Saiyan Saga Goku, he comes out to 15 times the speed of light. And I had to ignore a lot to get to a number that small, okay? Even a Freezer Saga Goku comes out at around 350 times more powerful than the number I found. But that's not really necessary, so let's just stick with Dio being relatively light speed and Goku being greatly faster than light. This is a huge deal because the way Dio's rewrite ability works is he needs to touch the person to delete them. This means it's unlikely Dio would ever actually be able to touch Goku, and therefore his rewrite ability would only be useful in healing himself rather than kind of using his delete move that we see on Funny Valentine and others. People might argue that Dio could use Time Stop to one-shot Goku because obviously he's frozen. That's pretty easily debunked if we're talking about Dragon Ball Super Goku, so here's how it works. Goku scales above Jiren, same Jiren who was stated to be so powerful he was above time, meaning that the same statement can be easily applied to Goku, which would naturally allow him to ignore time stop the same way Jiren ignored time skip. So time stop is basically out of the equation for the fight. We see Dio get seriously injured by one of Star Platinum's attacks, as you know, he's stumbling on the floor, he's bleeding heavily, he's like, he's basically 
one shot away from dying, which suggests that his durability is around the same place as Star Platinum's attack potency. That's kind of worrying considering Star Platinum's attack potency is taking out boulder sized diamonds as his huge feat, while Goku is collapsing universes three times the size of ours in the Battle of God's Arc. In the Margin Saga, he was called stronger than a Gohan who overpowered Perfect Cell's solar system level attack, or even in the Saiyan Saga, overpowering Vegeta's planet busting Gallic gun. Goku's attack potency is just so many leagues above Jotaro's that it's kind of ridiculous to assume he wouldn't one-shot Dio instantly. And in case you need me to piece the fight together, Goku can move many times faster than Dio with an extreme low ball, has one-shot capability, immunity to Dio's time stop, and with his speed combined with Ultra Instinct can effectively never be hit. If that doesn't convince you that Goku would win, I honestly don't know what would, so I'll just conclude with my final statement. Goku beats Dio under these conditions. In character, no blood slud, no prep time. Out of character, no prep time. Dio could arguably win with in character prep time, depending on the way you interpret his fight with GR, but seeing as they use the phrase outrank and never really suggest that Dio did anything prior, I think it's safe to say Goku would win in character with prep time. And the only way I see Dio kind of winning this is some out of character version of him with prep time. I mean, that kind of deal would neg any character really, so it kind of goes without saying. Uh, seeing as I've pretty much said everything I can, that'll be the end of this video. Uh, I hope I changed your mind in the way uh, you see Dio over Heaven in uh, Versus Battles now. Uh, that was mainly the point of this video. I know I kind of titled it that he beats Goku, but that was just to prove a point really. Anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next video.